Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we're partying together a $1,200 gaming PC brought to you by Lexar. Lexar was nice enough to sponsor this PC build and send over their NM620 SSD. They make some very affordable, high performance SSDs that you can use for your gaming PC. And we'll talk more about this SSD later in today's video. But how about not waste any more time and get right into it? But wait, we're actually streaming right now on Amazon Live, which if you guys don't know, you can stream on Amazon. We didn't know until just recently. And we're promoting this PC build that you can buy on Amazon. So be sure to follow us on Amazon Live, link down below. Now let's talk about each part and how it makes up this PC build. So here we have the Ryzen seven, just kidding, it's the Ryzen 5, but our Amazon stream is listed wrong. Ryzen 5 5600X, it's a six core 12 thread processor. It comes with a stock cooler too, which is really nice because we're not using a special cooler, we're just using the good old Cooler Master cooler that comes with it. For the motherboard, we have the ASRock B550M HDV. This is one of the cheapest B550Ms you can get, which is probably one of the reasons we went with it. And it's nice because it supports third gen on up out of the box. For RAM, we have 3200 megahertz, 16 gigs running a dual channel, this is silicon power. This is just some of the cheap stuff. It just has a heatsink on the front and that's it. Um, I think we already used it to test another build. That's why it's open here. So hopefully it still works. Now for storage, big thanks to Lexar once again. We have a one terabyte NM620 NVMe SSD. This is an M.2 SSD and they're really nice looking. I mean, you can see they just have all these ICs on them. They just look really good even with the Lexar name. Under 3,300 megabytes per second. So some blazing fast speeds and they do have Gen 4 as well if you want to go even faster. Fast. Faster. Now for the graphics card, we have the Zotac RTX 3060. Love the 3060, wish people could buy it more regularly, but unfortunately you cannot, but it does make a really good pair with the Ryzen 5 5600X, being able to play pretty much any game you throw at it at 1080p high settings and even 1440p if you want to. Now for the power supply, we have this Intermax Marble Brawn 550 watt power supply. It is semi-modular, so that's pretty cool. Um, and it is from Intermax. They make some pretty good power supplies and we have used them in previous builds and really do like them. And 550 watts is plenty for this PC build with a little bit of headroom for upgrades in the future. And last, but certainly not least, the case. This is the Montec Air 1 ARGB. Now this is a new case from Montec that they recently released. It's under $70 and comes with a bunch of RGB fans. Looks like three in the front, one in the back, and it is supposed to be ARGB. Montec has lied to us in the past about RGB, but I think this one actually is RGB, so we'll figure that out later. But it has this nice little handle for opening up the uh, side panel with tempered glass, and we got the white version. It does also come in black. So yeah, I'm excited to build this thing, see how it looks. Let's just not waste any more time and get right into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we have this $1,200 gaming PC all booted up and ready to go, let's talk about a couple benchmarks real quick. Now we decided to test this PC in a couple of titles, those being Call of Duty Cold War, Fortnite, and Chivalry 2. First up in Call of Duty Cold War, in a mixture of medium high settings at 1080p, we averaged over 144 FPS. The combination of the 5600X and RTX 3060 is a match made in heaven. We recently did a build with the i5-11400 also, 
and did notice that the 5600X gives you significantly more performance. Now, the reason why we saw more performance was probably due to the motherboard choice that we did with the i5 11400 because it was holding back the CPU from boosting as high as it needed to. But with the Ryzen 5 5600X, you really don't have to worry about what motherboard you're going with. It's going to work perfectly fine out of the box. And the fact that you can pick these things up in stock now at $300, no price hiking, the CPU market is pretty much normal now. It's a really good value. And as long as you can get the graphics card, which is starting to get a little bit better, uh, you will have a really awesome gaming experience. Next up in Fortnite on performance mode, we start to see how powerful the Ryzen 5 5600X is, getting over 600 plus FPS, sometimes into the 700s and even 800s. These are ridiculous numbers. Obviously, you could play at 1080p 240Hz, no problems whatsoever with this PC, and have a really awesome competitive esports gaming experience. You could play games like Valorant, Rocket League, CSGO, Rainbow Six Siege, all those types of esports titles, easily over 144, even 240 FPS on high low settings. Well, medium and low high settings obviously so uh very good gaming experience overall in esports titles and we kind of expected that with a build at this price point and last but certainly not least, Chivalry 2, a game that we've been playing a lot here at Toasty Bros HQ, and on high settings at 1080p, we got over 100 plus FPS. Chivalry 2 is a little bit of a demanding game, especially with the 64 person mode where you're basically charging towards a castle and you have to defend or attack. There's a lot of moving parts and getting over 100 FPS is no easy feat. It does really put a strain on most graphics cards, so Chivalry 2 is a fun game to test and you guys should definitely give it a shot if you haven't played it already. In conclusion, this PC for the money is absolutely absolutely great. The RTX 3060 is starting to be easier to get on the used market. Yes, it's still definitely overpriced like everything else in the world, but if you can't pick one up, you will not be disappointed compared to anything else on the market. And again, I fingers crossed hope that the market does get better because the RTX 3060 is an absolute gem of a card and I can't wait to do a ton more budget gaming PCs that you all at home can build. And also, I want to give a big thanks again to Lexar for sponsoring this video because that NM620 SSD was absolutely awesome and setting up this PC build. Lexar makes some really fast storage at really good prices, and this SSD is no exception. Definitely consider picking this up for this PC build or any other PC build you do in the future, or just upgrading your rig at home. Lexar is your one-stop shop to get some really awesome performance drives. Now that we finished the benchmarking section of today's video, how are we gonna bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick? All right guys, so as you probably expected, this PC performs really well, and honestly, if the 3060 was actually in stock regularly at normal MSRP, we would highly recommend this build all the time as one of our budget gaming PCs. And of course, today's sponsor, Lexar, and their NM620 SSD was great to install a bunch of games to. You have one terabyte of storage, which is a good starting point, and you can buy some higher capacity ones as well. Once again, link in the description down below will be a link to Lexar's SSDs. Thanks again to them for sponsoring today's video and making this build possible. Possible. And if you want any of the other parts in this build, link in the description down below will be affiliate links and they do help us out. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And hey, in case you guys were wondering what this shirt says, this says Toasty Bros. I've just had it for a really long time, so it's a little bit faded, but we do have merch on Teespring. Link down below, Teespring merch. It's cool. There's a lot of fun different designs over there and we're always posting new ones. So check it out. Yeah, bye for once, bye. Except now, we're not. Except now, we're not doing that anymore.